not to have lifelong cabinets in situ. And I think the last bit of fall government is a classic example where a guy can sit, like a, 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 a good friend of mine, actually, I won't name him, actually, I was speaking to him about the concept uh, in the last few days and he alluded to the Leitrim football team which he said it's hard to get on but it's harder to get off okay <laughs> and actually sometimes that can, be the case. that can be the case with some of our cabinets that it's difficult to get on them but once you get on it can be very difficult to get off as we see some cabinet ministers have made terrible blunders have been left in position but the fact that someone's removed out of cabinet shouldn't be mean that they're not necessarily up for the job but it might be time to bring in fresh thinking to rotate it so the concept would be, for example, if I start off with a, if I'm teaching, if I start off with a cabinet, I find my cabinet of 14, then after three years, I'll probably rotate three of them. After a new term, I'll replace another three, and replace four or five or whatever, two years downwards. But you can bring people in and out of cabinet. If you look statistically at the, the British Parliament and the German Parliament, a far greater number of ministers actually serve in cabinet than, than is the case actually in Ireland. And I can tell you, like I've been in the Iraq now for 15 or 16 years, and I've seen many capable people who have never been in cabinet. But there's a perception because someone is a cabinet minister once, that they're all knowledgeable, they're all powerful, and that they should be in situ and in finitum. That has caused a lot of problems in this country. Can I, can I just ask you? Sorry. Uh, Dennis, can I ask you, there's a fair few